we're looking at the structure of RNA and we're comparing it with the structure of DNA, which we've learned about in the previous video. We're going to be looking at the differences between DNA and RNA, the diagram that EZA is going to guide us, and we're going to tabulate the differences at the bottom as well. The names themselves give us a good clue on the differences between them. So the name DNA, we know stands for deoxyribonucleic acid, and RNA stands for ribonucleic acid. Deoxyribo, D means without, and oxy refers to oxygen. So if we look at the sugar molecules of these two, we find that the sugar molecule of DNA has a hydrogen alone here, whereas that of RNA has an oxygen and a hydrogen, a hydroxide. So if we compare the two, we find that the DNA is short in oxygen, and therefore we'll say that DNA has a deoxyribose sugar, whereas RNA has a ribose sugar. So from the name itself, we can get one difference between the two molecules. Another difference that is quite glaring, if you look at the image, you can see that DNA is double-stranded. There are two strands, whereas RNA is only made of one strand. Both of these molecules are made up of nucleotides. These are the building blocks of nucleic acids. However, the specific types of nucleotides differ. Where we find in DNA, we have cytosine, guanine, that's common to both DNA and RNA, but in DNA, the adenine joins with T for thymine, whereas in RNA, the adenine joins with U for uracil. We've said that there's a simple way to remember this complementary pairing. If you recall, we said that we can remember it by saying that the cute girls, CG, are all taken AT. Those that are not taken are unavailable U. So either C joins with G or an A will either join with T if it's DNA. But if it's RNA, then you're going to have that A joining with U for uracil. So that's another difference that the nucleotides have two differences. The one is that the nucleotide in DNA will have a deoxyribose sugar, whereas in RNA it has a ribose sugar. And the second difference is that the types of nucleotides that you're going to find that the uracil will replace thymine in an RNA molecule. Another difference is that the DNA molecule is a much longer molecule, whereas the RNA is made from a portion of DNA, so it's a much shorter molecule. Also, DNA is a double helix, whereas we find the RNA is often not in a helical shape. The types and location of RNA, we get messenger RNA or mRNA, and mRNA is found in the nucleus as well as in the cytoplasm. We also get transfer RNA or tRNA, which is found in the cytoplasm. Right, so mRNA and tRNA are approved abbreviations. You are allowed to write it in this way. But note that the M and the T are small letters and the RNA are all capitalized. You do get another type known as ribosomal RNA, but that does not fall, fall within the ambit of the syllabus. The functions of these types of RNA both play a vital role in the process of protein synthesis. Messenger RNA or mRNA it copies the code of DNA and then transfers this from the nucleus to the cytoplasm and eventually to the ribosome, which is the site where protein synthesis occurs. So the mRNA, messenger RNA, it copies and it's made by taking the code from DNA and it carries this code in the form of the mRNA to the cytoplasm and eventually when it reaches the ribosome, which is the site at which protein synthesis will occur. The tRNA or transfer RNA, 
brings specific amino acids and it transfers them from the cytoplasm to the ribosome where they will be joined together in order to make up the proteins, which is protein synthesis. This knowledge is very important for the next section, which we're going to be looking at, which is protein synthesis.